everyone, Kat over here with Confessions of the Perfect Mom. Today I thought we would chat a little bit about French press coffee. I know, at least here in our house, coffee is our morning staple. It gives us a little pick-me-up, it is nice and warm and cozy, it definitely is the start of our morning routine. And while, yes, we like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and, you know, we have cute little mom and pop shops here where we live, it's not necessary to go out and spend money to make a great cup of coffee. You are fully capable of making it in your own kitchen. So today we're going to talk about how you make that perfect cup of coffee. The one that you are looking forward to more than the ones you get at the stores. So before we get started, make sure you are pushing that subscribe button. Make sure you are pushing that little bell icon so you get notified when I post new videos. And yeah, okay. So you need a couple of different things if you're going to make the perfect cup of coffee. First and foremost, you need coffee beans. And you want to make sure that they are whole beans. You don't want pre-ground coffee. Yes, it's an extra step in the morning, but trust me, it makes a world of difference. So we even cheated and bought Starbucks coffee. So it's the same thing that they use in the stores. We like kind of this medium roast, the breakfast blend, but you can use any bean that you want. So first, next, you're going to need some sort of grinder. So this is a grinder that we use strictly for coffee. We don't do anything else in this grinder. Um, and yeah, so you need a grinder. Sorry, my plants are like taking over here. Next, does that happen to everyone else? Like, I swear, I'm not as clumsy as I look on the videos. Maybe, maybe I am, but that's okay. Next, you need a French press. Um, these are pretty inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. You can get really fancy ones. We have just a basic glass French press, and it has served us very, very well. Um, a spoon of some sort to scoop your coffee out of the bag into the grinder. Hot water. Okay. This is where it makes everything different. Some ground cinnamon and ground nutmeg. I know what you're thinking because it's the same thing that everyone tells me when I do it to them. Oh, we don't want cinnamon and nutmeg in our coffee. I promise you, you do. So, that is what you're going to need here. So, step one is to dish the beans from the bag into your grinder. So this is actually the spoon that came with my French press, and it works perfect. It gives us the max amount of beans without being too, too much. So one and two. Okay. So that's all that we do. Two, two scoops. And now when you seal this back up, you want to get all of that air out. You want to get it as tight and down as possible. So there you go. Okay, so now we're going to grind up your beans. You're going to want this to be ground not as much as espresso beans because if you get them that fine, they're going to go through um, your strainer here and you're going to end up with coffee grounds in coffee, which is no good for anyone. So, but if you don't have them ground enough, then it's not going to seep right. So you're kind of looking for this balance. I kind of look for like almost like breadcrumb type consistency. And if you look, no, nope, not quite yet. Okay, that should give you a pretty good consistency. We're gonna, let me see if uh, it's gonna let you see. I don't know if you can see in there. Because it's dark, it's, oh, does anyone else just love the smell of coffee. Okay. Now you want to grind and use right away. You don't want to grind and have it sit there for several hours because you're going to lose a lot of the oils from the coffee beans. So make sure you do it right away. Dump it 
right into your French press. Like, you don't have to do anything else. Just dump it in. Next, we are going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Now, there's not really a measurement. It's just however much you feel like. We really like cinnamon in our house, so we go a little bit heavier than, you know, what you'd want. But, you know, it's probably close to, like, a fourth of a teaspoon, a half of a teaspoon, somewhere in there. And then the same amount with your nutmeg. You know, I give it, like, two or three good little shakes with the little holy thing on top. So, I promise you... It makes a big difference. Okay. Then you're going to dump your hot water in. And. Okay. And you can fill it up as much as you want. We typically fill ours pretty full just because, you know, there's two of us that are going to be drinking it and we only want to have to do it once. Okay. So you're going to put the strainer side down in. You don't want it to touch the liquid yet because you want it to have room to seep and stuff and if you're touching that it's going to get absorbed. Now on the top of your French press there is a little pour icon. You're going to want to make sure that that's away from the spout so your steam and your heat doesn't escape through that. Okay. We are going to let that sit for about four minutes. Computer, start four minute timer. And, and now you wait. Okay, so you have ground the beans. You've put them in your French press. You've added your cinnamon, your nutmeg. We have let it sit for four minutes. Now we're going to push it down. So you're going to want to put that little pour symbol right over the spout. Just makes it a little easier. And you're going to slowly press it down. Now, it shouldn't go super, super easy. There should be a little bit of resistance there for you, but it shouldn't really be all that difficult to do either. If it's too easy, you ground too thin. If it's too hard, it means that you didn't grind enough. Okay, and look at how beautiful that is right there. Now comes the hard part. French press coffee is known for leaving sludge at the bottom of your cup of coffee, which is horrible. You get down to that last sip and there's like the sludge. So now you have to wait some more. I know you're saying, oh my gosh, I just want to drink my freaking cup of coffee. Patience, grasshopper, patience. It will make it taste better because you're going to let everything settle. By pushing that down, you've kind of like agitated everything. And so there's like stuff, all the little particles floating around. So we're going to let it sit. And you want to let it sit for at least another six minutes. So, computer, set six-minute timer. Six minutes. All righty. We're going to let it sit right here and do its thing. And then we will be back. Hey, everyone. Okay. So you let it steep for four minutes. You've let it rest for another six minutes. Now is the moment you've been waiting for. Go ahead and pour yourself that most delicious cup of coffee. And yeah, I probably should have split that in two so my husband could have some too, but he won't know. So, there you go. There is your most perfect cup of coffee that you can have every single morning that's going to taste just as wonderful as what you get at the stores. So make sure you guys are subscribing for more tips, tricks, ideas, family-friendly food. Push the button. Make sure you hit that alert button as well. That way you get the notifications that something new has been posted. Thank you guys very much, and we'll talk again soon.